Megan, they call this tournament mini nationals. And with these two teams meeting in the last two national title games, it's a pretty good table setter. It certainly is. We've seen these two duke it out before. Uh, Brute Squad usually coming out on top. But Bryant has been looking good this tournament. They are poised to take this away from Brute Squad today. Sinecro to Malinowski. Got him. Off to Kelly Johnson, who overshoots Fontenet, but it finds the hands of Jacqueline Virtue. Always thought she had magnets for hands. And then that D-line turns on to O and absolutely does work. Werfley needs a reset, gets it across field through the gap. And O'Connell was the intended target. Cassie Swafford comes up with a D, and O'Connell rescinds the initial call. E oh, off the deflection, Tajima gets it back. When your team has to make plays like that, requiring Tajima to lay out like that just to keep the disc alive, that takes a mental toll. And Seattle holds. Griffith's throw, a little too tall for Johnson, and was swatted down by Malinowski. Malinowski skies for the Brute Squad goal, and they're back within one. Heidi, the athletic CrossFit instructor, flying up early, ripping it down declaratively. She did it too far. Yes, she did. Great effort. So an opportunity for Riot to take half. Stern. As Zahnheiser streaking deep. Bailey Zahnheiser in the end zone for Seattle. A very impressive first half for Ryan on their home turf. Three squads having trouble generating. Turns, well, there's one. And then Cohen's laser beam caught by O'Connell. One down, two to go in the break department to get back in it. She put that out knowing O'Connell would have to go get it. Kawhi with an error. Squeezes it through. Caitlin Lee, very difficult catch. And she'll find Kramer in the end zone. Gives Boston a second straight break. Malinowski, tough low grab with Kawhi on her back. Now shooting deep, looking for Schwamm. No! That's Brute Squad's first turnover in the second half. Here's Stern on her horse. Easy clap catch. Right on the goal line. Oh, it's really hard to stop Sarah Griffith in that small space. So, Riot breaks again. There's Jacqueline Verju going over the back of Vicky Negus. And Verju's catch brings Riot within three. This throw from Boston coming up ever more present as the game wears on. Then putting it out for Surge, who had to run it down, then centers to Johnson, who immediately looks to the break side. Think individuals who make a bid at the front corner of the end zone are in a class all to themselves. There's Griffith up the line. You're not going to catch her. There's Douglas to Hoffman, and wow. Probably not Boston's day when you see that type of mistake from Leanne Hoffman. And somehow that disc was kept up by Gina Titcomb. Tajima gets her hand on the disc for the D. Root squad a chance. Oh, Tajima keeps it in bounds. That was ridiculous. The story of that point still definitely. Tajima towing the line to keep that disc in Root Squad's hands. Silver rips one. This would be for the title. Charlie Eide with another score, and Seattle on their home turf takes first place at the USA Ultimate Pro Championships. What a fantastic final put from Soper. And absolutely crank that one out for Eide. So Brut Squad beats Riot by five in July. Riot beats Brute Squad by five in early September. Hopefully these two teams meet again in the Sunshine State about a month and a half from now. But today belongs to Seattle.